Getting around the tropical grasslands of the Orinoco Basin in Colombia is anything but easy. But that hasn't stopped biologists and agricultural experts from conservation group WWF carrying out their work here. The region's rich ecosystem is increasingly threatened by commercial farming. The WWF experts are documenting biodiversity in areas that they say must be protected. We also want to locate carbon sinks and areas with large carbon stocks. The idea is to gather and combine all this information and to find out which areas should not be used for biofuel plantations. An aerial view of the Orinoco River Basin shows a huge, largely untouched aquatic ecosystem. It's home to unique plant and animal species. But in recent years, agricultural companies have increasingly been clearing land to make way for huge palm oil plantations, creating a damaging monoculture. But further north, one Colombian palm oil producer has taken a different approach. Darbon operates an eco-friendly palm oil plantation near Santa Maria. The production is only carried out on traditional farming land. No trees are cut and the ground's natural cover is left untouched. As you can see here, the difference is we don't clear the undergrowth. Quite the opposite. We use the natural vegetation to give the ground the chance to store moisture and thus create the conditions for an optimal cultivation of the African palm. The harvest is done by hand. The pickers are experienced and trained to pluck the palm oil nuts, which grow at a height of around 11 meters. This traditional method protects the oil palm. The fruits are transported by a buffalo-drawn cart. This is by no means a small plantation. It's spread over 870 hectares. But everything is produced organically. Once you've created a perfect environmental balance, then it's also more economical because you don't need any cleaning, you don't need to buy any insecticides, pesticides, fungicides. That only works by being perfectly in sync with nature. That sounds easy, but it's not. The production costs are significantly higher than those linked to conventional production. However, the sustainably produced palm oil does sell for a higher price. The palm nuts are processed on site using steam and pressure. Darbon wants the production to be as environmentally friendly as possible at a time when Colombia is already feeling the effects of climate change. Like all companies dependent on the climate and affected by droughts, winter or the rainy season, we react very sensitively to climate changes. And we can already see today we have heavy periods of rain followed by harsh droughts. It didn't used to be like that. Darbon even uses the palm nut husks as natural fertilizer for the soil. And they've installed a big methane gas plant to capture the greenhouse gas emitted by decaying waste and turn it into power. They also treat and reuse the water on the plantation. But some environmental activists remain opposed to palm oil production. They say stronger controls and guarantees are needed to prevent further land clearing. But many consider the Darbon plantation a model of sustainable farming. The company has left 9% of its land untouched as conservation areas for animals and plants. It has no plans to cut trees to expand production. Several small farmers have switched to natural palm oil, which they sell to Darbon. 
Felipe Moreno is 84 years old and the third generation in his family to farm. He grows bananas and vegetables for his own consumption, but he stopped his rice cropping and has begun producing palm oil instead. My lost money growing rice. And it was a lot of hard work. But now the palms are a lot easier. I cut some bunches yesterday and was able to sell them in the afternoon. I got money for it. That's a real advantage. But not everybody has benefited from palm oil production. The WWF experts are using their expedition to the Orinoco Basin to ensure that natural land isn't unscrupulously converted into farmland. Their aim is to protect the region's biodiversity. We believe that our studies can influence policymaking in Colombia. They provide further arguments in favor of protecting the environment and biodiversity and raise the political pressure. For instance, there's sustainable production in Orinoco, and that should continue. We're trying to foster that kind of development. New maps are meant to indicate the conservation areas. The Orinoco Basin in southern Colombia isn't just rich in biodiversity. It also serves as a huge carbon sink. That doesn't just help boost biodiversity, but helps protect the global climate too.